face dampers, it's Gainer again and I'm having a little play with a couple of sets actually, um, well no not sets but I'm going to be using this beautiful flourish here, I've had a go with the parcel and I use this sentiment, uh, this image and then I'm going to be using this sentiment as well, you know me I'm a sucker for a thank you card, love this. Now these are all the bits that it cuts out as well from the dies. Um, I always keep them in there, and they're cool. But it's, this is based on a sketch we had about two weeks ago, and I love it. So I thought I'd replicate the card for you, and I'll show you my card. And it's this one, and I've used the layering, the layered leaves embossing folder with the Gemini, and I'll show you how I. Um, sandwich mine because a lot of people have said they've not been able to get it through because with the plastic plate and the plastic shim it's too thick so I'll show you how I do mine um, but this is the layout from a couple of weeks ago I love it I think it's and I'm loving this uh, garden lane designer series paper and I've subtly stamped you can hardly see it but I have subtly stamped over the thank you I might keep this next one full strength because it's not too dark but I added that beautiful flourish inside as well to decorate. So it's uh, it was a bit of a fiddly one in a way. But if you don't, I mean not. I ha actually layered all these up and it was too wide. So what I did, I put it in the trimmer and just trimmed it off. So my layers are white, the mossy meadow and the vellum is there. So it's just on this end you can see the vellum, the mossy meadow and the whisper white. So it's dead cute. Uh, you know me, a thick white card base, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And we're just gonna fold and burnish this in half. And then we've got our soft sea foam. I'm, I'm having three lots of green because there's so much going on with the designer series paper. I've chose soft sea foam mint macaron and mossy meadow so this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and we're going to run that through the embossing folder let me just get my pad and pen let's turn it over so we've got um this is for the banner card i'm going to call it a sketch 22. Um, so thick white eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. <clears throat> um, soft sea foam is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Now these pieces measure three and one eighth. Oh no they don't, sorry. Yes they do, three and one eighths. So you need three at, and that's the mint macaron, three and one eighth by <clears throat> seven eighths. And then the mossy meadow, you'll need three of those at the same. And then your DSP strips, DSP are You'll need six at three by three quarters. And then you want your vellum piece. That is three and a quarter by one and a quarter. But we're going to trim it down. Then you've got mossy meadow at three and one eighth by one and one eighth and the whisper white is three by one so there we go there's the measurements pause grab your stuff come and make it with me if you like there look lots of little bits going on and all that so i've got my these are for my sentiment right now to run this thick dynamic embossing folder my arm is itching and burning from, oh, I had a tetanus and it's killing me still. 
So you pop that in. You're just going to use a plastic shim, uh, one of your plastic plates. You're going to pop this down. And I've just thrown one of my pieces of paper. Just two pieces of the grid paper cut down, just the same size as the plate. And then your magnetic plate, it just acts as a shim. And then run it through your, big, uh, your Gemini. I know it's noisy, but it saves me cranking. So, we're going to need some scrap later. And look, it gives you a really, really good impression. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and patterned. So that's how you can use the deboss or you can do the emboss side. But that's how I run mine through my Gemini machine. Pop them out of the way for a moment. So this we're going to get layered on here. And I added this first piece too far down because I haven't got the same amount of gap. So you just literally want to go like a sixteenth of an inch and then you'll have a sixteenth of an inch down there as well. Not one eighth like I thought I had because I laid everything out first and then added the pieces just to see where it was and you know what I'm like it moves <laughs> and then I get uh, in a pickle but we're going to pen in the ends at the moment see now on here it looks great but once you start gluing them down for some reason it just goes all out of shape for me so I've tested it we're not going to put that down yet what I do now is I'm fetching in the banner punch I am having the pale paper which is this one on the dark so these are cut a slightly smaller but when you want a pen at the ends if you pull them right close together keeping the distance fine hold the end just pop it in so your corners poke out not too much you don't want to go down that far literally so you can just see your corners and then squeeze it out and then when you come you layer this backwards and you've got the same gap all the way around it just saves you cutting twice and hopefully trying to get the same amount cut off each one so I'm going to do that for the rest of them now and then we'll glue them together so the dark is going to go with the pale so push it right the way to the top again give yourself good distance either side and hold the top slide it in just so you can see your corners Oops. It's a bit fiddly, but it's worth it. Unless you want to pen at the ends with your scissors. There we go. I'm just going to straighten that up a little touch. I know it's a pain, but it's well worth it. There we go. Oh, look, I had it perfect then. And then I shifted it again. So, let's test this one and keep the piece of paper with the piece you've just cut so if you are off slightly they'll both be off slightly and they'll still match up so keep them lined up again pale and dark nice little border either side swing it in just so your corners poke out and then punch whoops and then keep those two together don't go turning them over because they'll look odd you need it to be the same way you punched it or have i spun that over already when i pulled it out there we go that's the way and then you're going to get your little border all the way around so just line them up now on your desk and then just carry on until you've got them all. Oh, I've got itchy arms. So, pale and dark. We've just done the pale and dark. We'll do a dark and a light. Again, pushing them in. Keep the distance. 
just so the corners poke out. Oh, that one's playing hard to get. <laughs> it's like all plain sailing, but it, you're having a you're having a good go as you're going along. So corners poke out. Once they poke out, press down. Oh, do you know what I can't lift? There we go. Oh, they went for a they went for a flying Burton then. <laughs> They've flown over my craft room somewhere, but I'll have pick them up later and then line them up. So we've got two more to go. Just have fun, isn't it? You know, try and keep hold of it at the end as far back as you can. That way you can press your finger on it as you lay it down. So just as they're poking through. Whoops, don't go lock in it. That one's a bit too far. Oh, I've locked it. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got that one. And our last one. Do you know I always find the fiddliest things to do? But they turn out lovely in the end, don't they? So just pinch the end. Slide it in. Try and keep your paper level though, Gainer. It does help. Last one. And then... Once you see the ends poke through, give it a squeeze. There we go. So we've got our six pieces. Let's just bob it. We're going to do exactly the same with the vellum. The vellum is so thin it won't really matter. So line them up. Line that up all the way to the very end. Pinch and then slide those in. And so you can see all three corners. And then poke it through. And then keep those together as well, obviously. So there's all our pen and thing done. Love this. I adore these uh, punches. So I'm just popping that away. You don't have to keep them in order, I'm just being particular. So let's get our glue out. We'll love this stuff as well. And let's glue them on. You, uh, you could choose six different types of paper. You could have all the same colour. It does doesn't matter it's your preference your card you decide I do love putting the sketches up each week and the girls love it too so we've got a little gap there and we've got a little gap all the way around love these sketches I love to see all the interpretations from all the other ladies as well they're marvelous they come up with some gorgeous projects so, keeping your distance, just smush it with your finger and it doesn't matter about piling them up now because uh, they're all glued together. You get the tiniest little wiggle space but it's worth it. Yay! Love it. I love the leaves because the designer series paper is called Garden Lane and there's leaves basically on these. I just thought the layered leaves embossing folder was perfect for this. Beautiful. Two more. Patience of an ox. So line it up, top and bottom. Pop it down with your finger and slide along. Love it. 
and I did glue everything together with my sentiment and then I stamped. And thankfully I've got lines on the back of my blocks and I lined it up beautifully so I was confident enough I wouldn't need the other side of the paper. Beautiful. So now we've got all our pieces. Let's glue these together. Because we're going to trim it down as well. So it's quite hard to see. You might have to lift the vellum up this time. Beautiful. Another white. that up. Oops, mind you it doesn't matter about the back piece. Beautiful. Let's just pop that lid on there for a minute. And this time I'm going to fetch in, oh excuse me, the guillotine. And I'm going to be trimming this down. I'm going to take it down to one on this, just over, well, no, one on the green. I'm lining that up on the one. And because this guillotine is brilliant, it can go through the two. And now I'm going to line this up at seven eighths. So you will be cutting it down to seven eighths. But you get, I'm just going to trim off the back because I want it all level at the back. I'm just going to give that a tiny little slice. Perfect. Oops. And that's the only bit of waste you're going to get. And then I just get the bone fold and smooth that out. And then we can stamp our image. So I'm using Black Memento for the thank you. And I'm lining it up against that line. And I've got my line running through and I've, I've levelled it from the back. Beautiful. Right in the centre. How perfect. So we don't need the black anymore. And then I've got the soft sea foam and that's beautiful flourish. So I am going to fetch a piece of scrap in and I'm going to leave this full strength now. I did stamp off on the other one. But it's a lovely subtle green and I'm just going to go lengthways. That is beautiful. Isn't that better? That's so much better than the other one. You can still see it on the other one, but this one, oh, it's beautiful. And then we're just going to do some decorating on the inside of the card too. So again, full strength. I'm going to try and get the three on this way. Beautiful. Then I'm just going to stamp the two. on there. So I've turned it round and now this one I'm just going to do that small one just in there. Oh that is so cute. Look at that. I love it. So we don't need that no more. We can gently wipe off the green. There we go. I have to clean as I'm going along. I can't help myself. <laughs> we don't need the scrap anymore, so that can go. I'm going to burnish my card just one more time. I like it to stay flat. And now we can glue our layered leaves. 
just love it. You can choose which way round you want the embossing folder. I'm just going to stick with the right side. You could always sponge around the edges. It's entirely up to you. You could add ribbon even, even if you wanted to before gluing it down. But uh, you'd have to stick all your pieces on first. I like a bit of vellum on a card as well, the texture. So check you've got it the right way and just line this up. Nice even border, top, bottom and both sides, beautiful. So I'm just rubbing with the hand. I don't want to really press too hard because of the... So now you're going to decide which orientation now you want your bits. So I'm going to put the darks together and I think I'm going to start with... Let's just try this one more time now before we glue. Let, let's just gently add your pattern. Because you can pull these close together. And you're going to just stick them right on the end like so it's better to check than like I did and then mess it up and yet the both pieces of paper are cut exactly the same so but look at that I've got a nice gap top and bottom this time I've got way more of a gap on this one than that one even. I can afford to come up with a fraction. That looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to glue this first one into place. I'm not going to move the others. And this is going right on the end of the card. Now, look at that. Now my gap seems to have disappeared. There we go. Just keep that level. We can work off that foundation now. So we've got our first piece down, thankfully. It caught, well, the, you don't have to add all six pieces. Some of the ladies only added Four, some added five, or some, most of them added the six. One lady added ten, and how she managed that, mind you, her strips were really thin. Some were adding these uh, plain uh, whisper white, and then stamping an image over it. Oh, they were just absolutely beautiful. Some of the entries, love them. That's looking good. We had some with a total different piece of designer series paper on each banner as well. They were lovely. Come over and join in the sketch. Um, you get entered into a draw every four weeks. If you enter every week for four weeks, you get your name put in a draw. And I'll tell you when the weeks start. And then you will... to line that up the back and line it up down there beautiful and then after four weeks you'll get a handmade gift from me or some papers designer series papers or some uh, holographic papers depending on whatever is going that week see I've got a good gap there I can't even turn my car around <laughs> So I've got a nice gap at the top, pretty much okay, and I'm just going to pop the lid on this, I don't need this no more, I'm going to pop my sentiment up on dimensionals. At this stage you could wrap some um, baker's twine around there, or some linen thread and do a little bow, that would have been nice actually. I think I might, I've got a little bit of linen thread left, oh I tell you what I have got, I've got my green linen thread which is old olive, 
so we've got another green in there even so let's pull it the only thing on this roll it stays quite curly so I'm just going to leave enough I'm going to wrap that around about three times and then I'm going to tie a little bow off Joe, I wish I'd have done that now on the other one Adding texture all the time. Beautiful. So, don't go over there. Keep it in the centre. And I'm just going to get my third hand. I'm going to tie that in a double knot now, so... out. I know it's a little bit long but it's uh, not too bad. Oops. That's going to look really pretty and then just shuffed it to the end. You can open them out, gather them up. It's entirely up to you. Tie ourselves a little bow. I think that's pretty sweet. So I don't want to pull them too much because they do tend to curl. So just a tiny little pull. And then we can snip off those ends. How sweet is that now? So we only got that much waste. It's so sweet and then this is just going to get popped down here on dimensionals remove the backings and let's just grab another little tiny bit this up to the end as well in between the bottom two check that it's straight that looks brilliant oh my gosh how cute is that now with that little ribbon on there I wonder if I can squeeze one on there I don't think so no oh I don't know I might be able to tie one if I'm lucky Unless I've got a gap down there. Do you know what I might have, you know? Let's slide that. See if it comes out the other side. Oh, it doesn't want to play ball, does it? Do you think I could... Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to bend that up now. Try from this way. I think I might be hitting. Yeah, no, I'm hitting it. So let's just scoot it to the this end. I we'll just have a single tie round on this one. Just about, look at that. Just have a tiny little bow on this one. Pull that down. Got a tiny little bow. 
bow on that one. I would have liked to have wrapped it though, but uh, there you go, there you have it. Okay, now stop messing. <laughs> what I can do now is I'm just going to grab the tiniest little dot of glue, which will help me keep that little bow there in place. I'm just going to pop a bit of glue there, it will take seconds to go off. Help me keep that shape. Just give that a few seconds. Hey, you can always add, you can't take away. You can take away as well, but there we go. That's now got a little tiny bow on the end as well. It's not as good as that one, but I love it. I love it. I don't care. I love it. <laughs> I'm mental. <laughs> So I've got some little pearls here and I've just fetched in my mossy meadow and I just lightly went over five just to add a bit more decoration. Oh my gosh, new orders coming very soon. So. With this one I pop two up here and this time I'm just going to add the one, two, three, four and this one is just going to go cleverly right there on that. Thank you. That is my interpretation of two weeks ago sketch. Oh, they're so cute. Aren't they gorgeous? What a beautiful thank you card. You could add some flowers even if you wanted to die cut some flowers out. It's entirely up to you. I mean, with all those fiddly little bits, I thought that was plenty. The, I love just love the designer series paper and with the it's being called Garden Lane. I just thought the leaves would add this beautiful touch and I love this little flurry of flowers because of all the little dots as well. Just love it. I love it. So there we go. This is the card I'm making tonight. Uh, I hope you like it. I would really love a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. And if you've not subscribed but have enjoyed watching my video today, please press the subscribe button. And if you want to see what I post tomorrow, because I do post on a daily basis, don't forget the little bell. I do premieres in the night as well. So go to my channel. Uh, stamp with joy click videos and then you'll see under each video um, set reminders and if you do that it'll give you a half hour warning and then it will give you a two minute warning when the video is about to start come and have a chat with us loads of gorgeous ladies in there we're all like family and we just love all the banter it's brilliant so come on over and join us so I'm going to love and leave you all now but thank you for watching and stay into the end I love you all Bye. Clapping. <laughs> Bye.